Yeah. 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 Give it a shot when you're good to go. Paddy, can you hear us, Paddy? Yes, Dan. Yeah, just, just give us two seconds. Okay. All good? All good. Daniel? Yeah, Paddy, go for it. Yes. Daniel, uh, another point with a clean sheet, but a bit frustrated. Maybe it could have been all three. Give us your overall assessment. Yes, like I mentioned before, we are playing football games now to win games, and we're just happy when we win a game. So that's definitely definitely a fact. Um, we ticked many boxes uh, today, so we wanted uh, to get off the market home. Wanted to add the second unbeaten game in a row. Wanted to add uh, the second uh, clean sheet in a row. Want to take the next points. Next step was winning points also in a in a, in a home game and. This, Wanted to create more chances than we did in comparison to the burning game. These boxes were all, all ticked today. And for that, yes, we, we took another uh, step into the right direction also in terms of points. Certainly just a small step. Uh, today, it was definitely possible to, to make a big step with three points and to get this first win under our belt. And for that, yes, we are not over the moon with this result. Great performance. Many compliments for this. Many compliments for the, for the workload. But certainly... We got the feeling we created so many good situations uh, and you know and, and for this level more than enough chances also to to score a goal and uh, at least one goal and if we would have scored today then we would have won the game and for that of course we're also a bit disappointed that we didn't win this game i'm sure you've already been asked you said creating a lot of good chances none better than obviously josh sergeant first half give us your thoughts on that Overall, first of all, I have to say that I think Josh was there was an outstanding performance. His workload was unbelievable against the ball, with the ball. He was able to keep the ball in the pocket. Also against really physical back three of, of uh, Brighton, was able to keep the ball, initiated so many good situations and brought himself into, into really good positions uh, as well. I think he played excellent uh, today uh, with, with Timo Pukki together. But yes, of course, especially the scenes in the first half, he knows better than anyone else that he should have scored and you know, into a empty goal and I think he underestimated the situation a little bit and was a bit too sure that he would have scored because he had easily to time to take another touch and now and then to put the ball easily into an empty net. Um, but also in the second half after a great through pass of, of Timo Pukki, one against one on the goal cup and then he was not there, concentrate on the tidy first touch, also a situation where he should have scored. Timo had good situations after through ball of Max and you know when he tried to chip the ball over the goalkeeper and later on also uh, together with Milo Trasica. Um, yes, on this level, more or less scenes where we should have scored, I would say, at least one or two goals. And they are probably the, the best scene, anyhow, when there was an empty net in the in the first half. To be honest, Josh is probably the most disappointed guy in the in the in the dressing room because he knows that he should have scored in this in this situation. Then yes, we would have probably created even more because then Brighton also has to open uh, open um, their they are set up even uh, even a bit more, and it was of course a key scene. Yes, sadly he wasn't able to bring the ball over the line, and uh, for that, yeah, then we have to accept the draw today. I mean, you said after Watford, it, it really the focus had to be defensively been a lot stronger. Two clean sheets, one of those at Burnley would indicate that is the case. But two goals, two league goals, and eight Premier League games. I mean, you said the attacking side will have to come, and we saw the options you had on the bench today. Are you concerned at all that productivity? Two goals in eight. No, not 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 concerned because um, the first task after we have conceded too many goals in the first games and then you have to make sure you have to build your game step by step. We made sure that we were rock solid in the last game also like with our with our team setup. We didn't allow many chances, uh, not even in uh, at uh, Everton, not many not many chances if I'm uh, if I'm honest, and especially not at, at Burnley and uh, also not uh, not uh, tonight. And I also got the feeling so we have to develop more and more our game. Offensive-wise, when you judge the three games, so even more chances against Burnley than we did uh, created, uh, than we created against uh, against Everton and today even more. And you know, and yes, actually we have also the players who have the cutting edge in order to bring the ball into the empty net. If I'm uh, if I'm honest, but it's it's always the same. So when you have a difficult, when you find it 
a period when you find it difficult to score goals, then you have to concentrate and you have to work even harder. And I, I just have to give compliments to TMO and, and uh, Josh also today, because I think they were fantastic against the ball, but also like how they created their chances and how they were good in the pocket and worked really good, uh, really good together. Yes, the final step is right now also to bring the ball over the line and they both know, yes, that we need to do this, but not just the two players up front. I think also Pierre Les Menu was in a great shooting position anyhow in the first half. Matthias had a, had a fantastic free kick position for a player of his class when we should have scored even a bit more. We had so many set pieces today, so many corners where the delivery could have been a bit better and also like the movement to the ball a bit, bit better. So even... So all my players are also invited to assist and also to score goals anyhow. And for that, it's not just up to punish anyhow. Josh, after he misses big chance anyhow. No, I just give him compliments for, for a really good, really good performance that we have to make sure. We defend at the moment really good as a team. Uh, we've created today really good as a team. Right now, we have also to make sure that we that we score more goals uh, together, together as a team. And performance-wise, and also commitment and workload was was really good. I just have compliments right now. It's more like also to find the composure in the finishing situations. And yeah, on this topic, we have to we have to work uh, also as a team and not just uh, individuals. Okay, just a couple more for me, if I can, Daniel. You mentioned then Matthias Norman. You saw the reaction of the fans, really appreciative of, of his game again today. Word on that, and maybe more importantly, anything to be concerned about the way he hobbled off? No injury. Uh, just cramps there because he was uh, was exhausted. Top class performance, top class spirit that he also brings on the uh, on the pitch. He, I think he was uh, exceptional uh, tonight. And then just have compliments. He was out of training due to his uh, injection therapy for ten days. Just back in team training on on Wednesday. But uh, what, I think he was excellent today. and wanted to leave him as long as ever possible uh, and you know, on the pitch because he was so influential for us and so important for for our game. But then of course if he had. Then had cramps after 70 minutes on, on, on both calves, and you know, I had to substitute him. Uh, but again, we're all happy that we that we have him, and uh, this week, full week, will be also beneficial for him in order to, uh, yes, to get uh, to recover a little bit and then uh, to be ready to go again uh, at Chelsea at the weekend. Uh, just to clarify as well, no Todd Cantwell today in the 20, Daniel. Obviously, you had Kieran Dow on the bench. Was that nothing fresh to be concerned about? Just did, didn't feel he was going to be in your thoughts today. Hello, Max. No, Todd, Todd missed uh, many, many uh, weeks. I think it was a long, long time ago that he was the first time in the last time in the starting lineup. Then he missed more or less three weeks of, of team training. He's just back in team training since the beginning of, of the week. And it wasn't a decision against Todd, it was a decision uh, for, for Kieran uh, because we got the feeling so he was always available. His so trains unbelievable hard, really outstanding. And uh, yes, also today we, we wanted to have, um, can't afford to have. Uh, Quite similar players in the in the in the, in the match day squad, and we had a number ten type, and you know, with with Kieran on the bench, and uh, you can always count on Kieran, and we all got the feeling so perhaps um, he deserves even more to prove his point because when you when he started, it's also like he was also rock solid in his, uh, his performances. So it's also like for each and every player who comes back after injury or after he missed a few weeks of training, then he has to show consistency on the training process to make sure that I pick him ahead of a different different player. And, and uh, Kieran is a, is a great lad and also has the skills to deliver end products. It's, 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 it's a, he's a creative player, he's a player who finds the final pass. And it's not easy for a player who missed two, three, four weeks anyhow to come back into the game day squad, especially not when we deliver performance like we did in the last two weeks and also you know, in terms of soft skills, really good good atmosphere within the group anyhow. And, and again, it was not a decision against Todd. It was a decision uh, for Kieran. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Paddy. Duncan, 